<laughs> keep, keep walking. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know I was being filmed all the time. That's not natural. <laughs> How can I? <laughs> As ever, pause if you're interested. This is the rather nice stables and coach house. Whoa. Nicely done. Richard Hewitt would be pleased to know there's a tap there. I'm sure he would have spotted it before me. Don't worry, so we'll film the journey later. Yeah. And uh, a token piece of van life for the purists among you. My solar panel is accumulating half an amp, which is about six watts, on a rather drizzly overcast day in the middle of January. A great aunt of mine she used to work on a chicken farm and she would frequently see twins but sell them anyway but it's so rare they get through these days oh this because it was from a farm oh it's organic yeah oh. Old grey hot with a malted biscuit. Splendid. <laughs> and when you're enjoying yourself this much, who needs the horror and negativity of television? No. <laughs> no. No, there's nothing in that television except lies, brainwashing, deceit, and coercion. So we're coming down here, puddle, because there's a bookshop apparently. And there is a green technology experimental center out, made out of an old piggery, nicely done. Oh yeah, what are you doing there? Restoring old machines? Patricia has a little show for you. <laughs> Hard to tell by looking at me, but this is my genre here.
I read this foundation series when I was 24. Um, Isaac Asimov wrote these in the 50s before we even had technology as we know it now. And wow, basically every galactic scale science fiction from Star Trek to Star Wars is based on this. This is profound. And uh, one of the main characters is Harry Seldon. He's a uh, psychologist and he figured out that you can predict... um, the collective behaviour of humans, as you can behave, you know, predict the collective behaviour as a gas, not by observing the individual molecules, but by properties like temperature, pressure, and so on. Cool. Patricia found. <laughs> How topical. A gripping new tale of detective adventure introducing Sexton Blake as Tinker. I love Sexton. For, for new readers, the story takes place in the wild, wild. I can't read it anymore. Um, Anyone who believes their education is over, they're right. But I'm going to learn something about punctuation. Today's factoid is... Hmm. Roman numerals are usually capitalised. There you go. Tolstoy's Anna Karina. And one paragraph is... C'est bien vrai, s'écrie Vlaslovsky. Oblonsky accepte leurs invitations par bonhomie, mais cet exemple est imité. Another French book here, Marge Figaro. More oh, German verbs. Jawohl. Additional. Sie würden mögen. You would have liked in the formal. Easy pickings for me, Fritz Haber's Metropolis, Verhoeven's Robocop, Ridley Scott's Alien, uh, the 1958 film Forbidden Planet. Hmm. Oh, is that uh, Johnny Mnemonic? Blade Runner? And if anyone has ever wondered what the plural of Grand Prix are, it is that. A bit like attorneys general. Browsing a bookshop is still better than television. Yeah, that's an adventure I plan soon. Cookbooks. The 2017 short wheelbase Citroen Dispatch. I mean, I wouldn't say no, but I'd rather have the long wheelbase version if they were a choice. Somerset Bodgers. Why are they botching up in there? Oh, various woodworking machines. Excellent. Oh, little offcuts of walnut. <sighs> there is nothing like the beautiful fragrant smell of freshly cut wood. Oh. <coughs> oh god, it's like I like moving around inside my van. <laughs> there you go. What's one leg, one ass cheek? Yep. <laughs> I'm holding up all the traffic. I don't care. I'm not signalling when I suddenly turn into a field. <laughs> yeah. Alex in Colchester. Mm-hmm.
Mm. All want to know, does she have udders? Oh my goodness, they're actually working machine udders. Patricia's Chosen, Water Babies story. by Charles Kingsley. You've read that one, have you? Oh yeah. Wow, and the next one? Well, the next one, the next two I was keeping for my daughter-in-law, Children's Homer. Oh, nice. Of course, I much prefer Ovid's original Latin. It's too tempting. Oh, no. I'm going to need something to bang it with. Oh, I have to bang them with my GoPro. Cider brandy. 